The twisted steel sculpture rests in the back of a steel yard in Gansvort. It was supposed to be here at the Saratoga City Center in time for the 10th anniversary of 9-11, but Sunday's anniversary came and went. We're all kind of poised to make it happen, and so it's disappointing, but not much can, you can't do much about things that you don't control. We didn't control the process. Some critics said the large sculpture doesn't fit into historic downtown Saratoga Springs. Noah Sabat helped design it with five pieces of steel from the north and south towers of the World Trade Center. He's proud of his work and thinks it should be displayed. I think it would have been fitting in Saratoga Springs to have something of this uh, nature, a strong memorial like this in place for the 10th anniversary. I headed to downtown Saratoga Springs to talk to people and get their perspective on the sculpture's delay. I mean, they, they, should have, they had plenty of time to get a, get a nice place and just put it there. I mean, it, you know, the, people need to have closure, and that would have closure. It should be brought to the city soon, I would think. I don't know why it hasn't gone up. I, I don't see why it couldn't go up. While the sculpture sits in the Gansford Steel Yard, Mayor Scott Johnson has set up an advisory committee that will provide the city council with a recommendation for the ultimate location of the 9-11 sculpture. The city council will then have a chance to vote on it. Our hope now is that they give us a suitable site for it, a site that we feel gives it uh, strong attention, not only gives it strong attention, but it, as a memorial that it actually is in a place where people can both contemplate and see what it is as a memorial. In Saratoga Springs, Ash Reardon, CBS 6 News.